And the last, the last one is temperature, temperature control, control. regulation yes. or the control. Yeah. And there are two things that they have to do here. It is the role of the skin in temperature control. And there you can see the picture. Colin. And remember your guideline document, it says there are only two things that you need to know. You need to know about blood vessels and the influence of the sweat glands mm. and um, in the regulation of temperature. Yeah. When it's hot, more sweat will be produced. But just remember, when, yeah. when, when it's hot, on a hot day, it, first of all, the temperature regulation center in your brain is the hypothalamus. Mm. Stimulate it and sends impulses to the blood vessels, first of all. Because if the blood vessels die late, they become wider. That means that more blood flows to the skin. And that yeah. is why some people like, I'm not going to say who, but lighter people will show red when they get <laughs> warm. Or red. <laughs> or when you blush, you can feel yeah, more blood flowing yeah. to the skin. And you remember, feel warm. it's not the blood vessels moving closer to the skin surface as we often mm. find. It's just the blood vessels becoming wider. There's more blood in the skin. Mm. And the reason is, remember, there are five ways in which you can get rid of heat. Radiation, glowing, mm. convection, wind, touch, conducting. Um, and so we can continue. You have to go and look. We don't have time to go into all of them. But that's why you have wider blood vessels, more blood in mm. the skin, so that you can get rid of the heat. And as Colin has said, more blood also to the sweat glands. So they will produce more sweat. And that is important. Yeah. It is the, the, the more blood that will stimulate, that will go to the sweat glands to make them, or, or, or they become more active to secrete sweat. And then we know evaporation. Mm. That will yeah. then cause cooling down and on in a the cold, cold day. It's just the opposite, yes. and that is where we yeah. have. They have these diagrams in their guideline documents. There you can see definitely if they give you both of those, you can see where it's wider, where it's narrower. And this has brought us to the end of our presentation. We just sure, made it's it. A hey? Mouthful, hey? Yes. Good luck. Yes, especially with your trial exams, but then also with your final exams. Best yeah. of luck from all of us.